around here, we have a saying. No worries. Well, now you better start worrying. You'll be fine. Today, brace for brutal force, Rhea Ripley. This is my division because mommy is always on top. Nia Jax. Nia Jax! Just plowed through the champion. The irresistible force has been nearly unstoppable. And here we go, and the fight's on for the Women's World Championship. We become the night. Around here, we have a saying. No worries. Well, now you better start worrying. Then. Together. For the first time since 2018, WWE has reached the golden shores of Australia. This time, taking over Western Australia's capital city. It's summertime in the Southern Hemisphere, and we are feeling the heat as over 50,000 of the WWE faithful are filling Optus Stadium to the brim. Fans around the world are in for a can't-miss spectacle, but it will be a much more serious affair for the 12 men and women who enter this imposing structure. I can't wait to see it, and he's here. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes is in Perth on his way to the Grayson Waller effect. Oh, but he's not alone. Also on the Grayson Waller effect, the world champ, Seth freaking Rollins. And who is Seth Rollins going to be facing at WrestleMania? Maybe this man, the United States champion Logan Paul in the chamber tonight. By the way, Logan Paul looks tremendous. Speaking of which, there she is, an opportunity to shock the world and take out the champ Rhea Ripley. And tonight means more than it ever has before because for the first time ever, Rhea Ripley is home. Around here, we have a saying. No worries. Well, now, you better start worrying. Oh! It's the most brutal stop on the road to WrestleMania. Ready! Unforgiving. Inescapable. The winner earns a championship match at WrestleMania. Flames get bigger while the moths all shift like the subsidizing evil with no budget for a sequel. The pros that give land with a smile. The cash that never goes out of style. Your flashbacks give you a panic attack when your eyes go pitch black. world champion mommy is always on top oh! the irresistible force has been unstoppable and here we go where the fight's on 
the Women's World Championship. You're gonna learn to fear me. WWE presents Elimination Chamber Perth Kickoff. Located in the southwestern corner of Western Australia, and just to give you some context, Western Australia, larger than all of Europe combined. Whoa. But today, it is all about WWE taking over the continent of Australia. Glad to have you with us here on the kickoff show. Megan Morant, Sam Roberts, Peter Rosenberg. This is the 14th Elimination Chamber Premium Live event, the third consecutive outside of the U.S. And Peter, this could be the most important stop on the road to WrestleMania. Oh, absolutely. Everything's lining up, but there's still these things going on, these open spots. Who's going to get their opportunity? I'm thinking about Nia Jax. Maybe a lot of people thinking, oh, I'm taking on Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania. Are you? We don't know. Nia might have different plans. So much on the line today. That's only where the stories begin. I mean, this has global implications. That's why we're all the way, not halfway, all the way across the globe for the Elimination Chamber. You know, a lot of WWE superstars have been doing media while they've been in Perth. This is what Triple H said. Monumental implications for WrestleMania tonight at the Elimination Chamber. Three WWE superstars have their chance to punch their ticket to the city of brotherly love, and it means so much to all of these superstars. An emotional story posted on social this week. Raquel battling through what WWE's medical team is calling hypersensitivity reaction, but nonetheless, she will compete today. This is how much today means to these WWE superstars. Yeah, and Megan and I, before the show, were just looking at Raquel's social media, and we, we talk, I just I just feel so much for her. It's been such an emotional time. You know she's so happy to be back in the ring and to have this opportunity, and, and so deserving of this opportunity. It's an amazing story going into the Elimination Chamber like this, but the Elimination Chamber is where that story is going to end. Because as much as we care... There are five women that simply don't because they want their tickets punched to WrestleMania. When you're right, you're right, Sam. I know. Well, let's take a look at all the action that is coming your way today. Four former world champions, one current United States champion, and one outspoken self-proclaimed megastar will fill up a chamber that's packed to the gills with championship desire. Who will go on to WrestleMania to face Seth freaking Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship? We talk about championship contenders at WrestleMania, but who will hold the gold? Can mommy stay on top down under? Nia Jax looks to disappoint the champion tonight. You mentioned gold, Sam. Well, tag team gold on the line. The undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship being defended by the Judgment Day against the New Catch Republic. This one announced yesterday and kicking off Elimination Chamber Perth. The Women's Tag Team Championships are on the line as the Kabuki Warriors take on Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. Can the Kabuki Warriors hold on to their new titles or will Hartwell's return to her home country see Indian Candice with the gold? And what is it going to sound like when a stadium of people actually cheer Grayson Waller? That's just one of the things wow. that make this the biggest Grace and Waller effect of all time. The other, the guests, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes and Seth Freakin' Rollins. Well, of course, the aforementioned Raquel, Liv Morgan, Naomi, Becky, Bianca, Tiffy Time, Tiffany Stratton, all with their mind on WrestleMania. But in order to get there, they have to survive the devilish structure known as the Elimination Chamber. Here. The road to WrestleMania is paved with heartbreak, triumph, and challenging roadblocks. And this year, the road to WrestleMania takes us through Perth, Australia, for the toughest roadblock of them all, the Elimination Chamber. 
The danger in the Elimination Chamber is inherent. One of the most brutal matches ever devised. This vicious match begins with two superstars. The rest of the combatants await entry, locked inside one of four pods. Every five minutes, a randomly chosen superstar will be released from their pod and enter the chamber match. The brutality these superstars are capable of within the Elimination Chamber is unmatched. There is nothing on it that doesn't hurt. The only way to eliminate an opponent is by pinfall or submission inside the ring. The last person left standing is declared the winner. We will have two chamber matches, both with championship implications. In the women's elimination chamber match, six women will battle it out for a women's world championship opportunity at WrestleMania. And for the men, six hungry challengers will wage war to earn a World Heavyweight Championship match against Seth freaking Rollins on the grandest stage of them all. <laughs> In Perth, Australia, the WrestleMania landscape will take shape who will stand tall at Elimination Chamber. Brutality doesn't even begin to sum it up. And as far as the women's Elimination Chamber match goes, each of these competitors have their reasons. But making a statement and backing it up are two totally different things. Uh, it's funny. Sam and I have been talking to superstars for many, many years about this match. And they will all tell you the same thing. It is the worst. It is a brutal situation. KO alluded to it at the press conference, yeah, Sam. Yeah. It is just a painful, everything you do in that chamber hurts. I mean, it's an amazing spectacle just to behold. Michael Cole was talking about the process of getting this massive structure there all the way to pirates involved. That's how dangerous this structure is. Literal pirates <laughs> could not stop the elimination chamber from getting to Perth. It's, it's, it's crazy, but it's the necessary step you have to take if you are deserving of getting that shot at WrestleMania. That's right. Let's get it out to our broadcast colleague, Byron Saxton, who's standing by in Perth, Australia. Thank you so much, guys. After having spent a few hours in the backstage area today and interacting with a number of superstars, I would describe the vibe as having a palpable energy and excitement over the fact that we're here in Perth, Australia for a history-making premium live event. But underneath all that is also a palpable tension because every match, as we know, has WrestleMania implications. In fact, to quote one superstar who's going to be stepping inside the chamber, they said to me, I'm treating this match as if it's the most consequential match of my career. That should tell you all you need to know about the feeling backstage at Elimination Chamber. Back to you guys. Wow. You know how you know it's a big day? Byron's dressed well. Like, I don't hate Byron's outfit today. It looks great. He actually looks great. He That's looks how great. big Byron, the chamber Byron is. Byron always looks great. <laughs> oh, but, all right. but as far as this elimination chamber match goes, we know how tense it is, and you can feel that based on Byron's report. Absolutely, and it's not surprising that whatever superstar that was said that this was consequential. This isn't just a match at WrestleMania. This is a championship match at the biggest WrestleMania of all time. Well said. Well, before we get any farther, let's take you back to yesterday's press event when the women in the Elimination Chamber match met face to face. I'm not going to be locked in the chamber with you. You're going to be locked in the chamber with the man. We've been enemies. We've been friends. But tomorrow we're competitors. And all I'm going to see is somebody that's standing in front of me that's in my way to get to WrestleMania. And you can't spell WrestleMania without E. S T. To 
of the strongest women in all of WWE, Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch, will be two of the members in the Women's Elimination Chamber match. Sam, who do you got in this one? Wow, okay. I mean, I don't know that there's been this much greatness inside of a chamber before, and we saw two of, uh, of, the, two of the sixth greatness members in that confrontation, but you know who wasn't there? Somebody that might be considered an underdog, Liv Morgan. I've never seen the focus in Liv Morgan that I've seen from her in the last few weeks. The only goal that she has in life right now is to get at Rhea Ripley, and the only way she sees to get there is to win the chamber match. I'm going to go Liv Morgan. And remember, Liv Morgan has more Elimination Chamber experience than any superstar in WWE. Peter, who do you have? It's a nice story Sam told. I enjoyed that story, and I would love to see Liv because I love Liv, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in reality. Those two ladies that we saw on the stage there at the end, that's what it's all about. It's Becky and Bianca. That's what this thing comes down to. And I think it's time for the EST to get her chance again. I'm going with Bianca Belair. Condescending. It was a little condescending, but I, I do love Liv. Yeah, right. That part I meant. Your pick is just wrong. Strong statements coming from both of these two men. Here is Bianca Belair, the EST there she of is. WWE. She looks like a winner. See? She looks Thank like you. a winner when That's she That's what I'm in. talking about. But look at this. Tiffany Stratton, no moment is too big for her. All right, we'll see. We'll see if the kid's ready. WWE's taken over one of the largest countries on earth, and we still got lots more to cover here on the kickoff show. Elimination Chamber Perth, just minutes away. They're bold, inspiring. Powerful. WWE Official Championships. Feel like a champion. And so much more. At WWEShop.com. Now a Fanatics experience. Tonight only. Free shipping on qualifying orders. This was The Rock at his finest. And you had the perfect foil in Triple H. WWE Rivals. Easy for us to clash. Probably the greatest matches I've ever had. And then WWE Legends. I didn't understand what it was to be the face of the WWE. He had figured it out. He just had to do it his own way. WWE Superstar Sunday. New season premieres tomorrow at 8, only on A&E. The 14-time world champion Randy oh, oh, Orton oh, in this yeah. absolutely stacked Elimination Chamber match Look field. Randy, ma wait, does Kevin Owens have a koala? Wait, Maybe. Kevin Owens adopted a koala bear? Is that legal? I drew McIntyre, no fuzzy animals. Go Around back to the koala Scottish bear. Warrior. Well, the women's world champion has all the motivation in the world as Rhea Ripley puts her title on the line in front of her home country. But with the destruction we've seen at the hands of her opponent, could Nia Jax play spoiler? I mean, look at me. I'm classified as a badass woman. Rarely have we seen a world champion as dominant as the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley. This is my division because Mommy is always on top. Let's just say my actions speak louder than my words. The Annihilator crushing the champion. Jax is wrecking everything in sight. You put anybody in this ring with me? Line them up. Nia Jax will squash them all. And I will squash them. And I'm not quite sure how anybody survives that. I am the baddest human in all of WWE. Nia Jax has been unstoppable. Mommy says she always ends up on top. But I always seem to end up on top of Mommy. 
Who on earth can possibly stop Nia Jax? I am so sick and tired of people like Nia Jax running their mouth. This is my division, and that's why this is my championship. Superstar. My resume speaks for itself. There is no doubt about it. 2023 was the year of the Eradicator. Mammy is still on top. I want Nia Jax in this ring so I can rip her bloody head off. Rhea, don't you forget that I put you on your ass. Nia Jax Woo! annihilated Rhea Ripley. Look at the state that Rhea Ripley was left in. I had to remind myself that I was Rhea Bloody Ripley. I'm giving you Nia Jax for the championship. I will prove to the world. In Perth! Australia, my home country. But I'm the most dominant woman here. Don't cause such trouble, just because I can. Gonna make a scene come through the flat, you can't feel out the pain, no, no. Cause I'm as bad as they could. I'm gonna show the world that I am the most dominant woman and become the next women world champion. See you soon, unstoppable champ. Lots of emotion for Rhea Ripley, who for the first time in her WWE career will compete in front of her home country. And tensions were at an all-time high yesterday as champion and challenger met at the press event. Yeah, it, it was it was emotional, and it's a very different Rhea Ripley that we're seeing. This is Rhea in Australia. She's drinking shoeys with uh, Grayson Waller, right? She's having a good time. She's popping the crowd. Everyone loves her. What it makes me think about, though, is when Mike Tyson went across the world to take on a 42 to one underdog named Buster Douglas. Odd time in the U.S. Crazy time. Boom! All of a sudden, Mike Tyson's not champ anymore. The difference is, Nia Jax isn't Buster Douglas. She's not a 42 to 1 dog, no, Sam. No, 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 Nia no. Jax is a, an incredibly viable threat. This is what gave me pause. I'm watching the press conference, and it seemed like it should have been a great moment for Rhea Ripley. But as the crowd is cheering for her, she said, you guys are making me emotional. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be the eradicator. I heard that. She has to be the eradicator. She can't be worried about her uncle in the front row. Yep. She can't be worried about her country people. In the front row to the back row. No. She's got to worry about the fact that the greatest threat to her championship is standing in front of her at the Chamber Premium Live event. And if she's not the eradicator because she's too emotional, she leaves on her back. It's a, it's a great point. And, and, Megan, she also can't be thinking about what happens in that women's chamber match. She can well, only focus on Nia Jax. Well, right. Nia Jax returned to WWE in September. She's undefeated in singles competition since her return. So with that, Sam, who are you taking today? I, I can't go against Rhea Ripley. I can't find it. I mean, I could I cycle. I can't go against Rhea Ripley. Yeah, There's I, no way she leaves without that. I, I gave you a whole story about Nia Jax, and I think she's a very viable threat, but I learned two things. Don't bet against Roman Reigns, and don't bet against Rhea Ripley. I'm going with Rhea to retain. You have well, to. Well, the Judgment Day will certainly be busy at the Elimination Chamber today. Rhea won't be the only member who's in action. Finn Balor and Damian Priest defend their undisputed tag team championships against Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate of New Catch Republic. Bate has brought out a resurgence in Pete Dunne, and now they have the opportunity, Sam, to go from scratch to the top of the division. I mean, you talk about underdogs. People didn't realize what they were looking at when they saw the New Catch Republic in that tag team championship number one contender tournament. I think that this is a team that is going to excel internationally. And I think whether he's in Austria or not, R-Truth has been a major distraction to the Judgment Day. 
I think New Catch Republic shocks the world tonight and wins the tag team championship. Okay. Peter, your prediction. This, uh, this is how you're going to know I'm serious. I'm taking, I'm taking the glasses off. All right. Well, thank you. God. I got, no, I, no, Sam, how dare you? You're out of your mind. The Judgment Day is focused. Our truth is nowhere near them. He's in Austria. I saw it on, on X. He's there. Uh, I like the Judgment Day. They appreciate the situation. They can't let mommy down with WrestleMania this close. I like the Judgment Day. All right, locked in and focused, and that is exactly what this woman is, Naomi, who made her return to WWE at the Royal Rumble. She wants to be at the top of the division. We're on the revenge tour. Liv Morgan is making sure it goes through Perth tonight. Known as the most beautiful stadium in the world, and Perth is home to some of the best beaches in Australia. Our superstars have been having a blast all week long here in Australia's sunniest capital city. We're so excited to have you all here for Elimination Chamber later this week. We have a beautiful walk on country for you today. I'm so happy right now. Ah. We're never going to be back. So I can, I can take her home, right? <laughs> Made our hearts very happy to be able to share with you our culture that's still living today. We send a lot of love and respect with you as we say goodbye. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mum and Dad. I'm going to have made a good spirit for you today. Thank you. I could Thank take you. my shirt off if you like. <laughs> <laughs>
He's also got to be Iron Man, Jey Uso. My whole life, I've been fighting for other people. From here on out, I'm just fighting for me now. My legs. Before the bloodline, before the dance, before the face paint. There was just me, Oos. I proved to the whole world. I proved to my family. I proved to myself why they call me Main Event J. Uso. Just 42 days and 11,602 miles separate Perth, Australia and the city of brotherly love, mm. where WWE will debut WWE World, a brand new fan experience coming to WrestleMania 40 weekend, April 4th through the 8th at the Philadelphia Convention Center. Enjoy meet and greets with your favorite superstar memorabilia on display, live shows and podcasts, and of course, the WrestleMania Superstore, as we welcome you back on into the kickoff show. It has been 16 days since the slap heard round the world, oh, oh, oh. and ever since then, the entire planet has been talking about The Rock, Roman Reigns, Seth freaking Rollins, and Cody Rhodes, Sam. Nobody can stop talking about The Rock, but what's The Rock talking about? Elimination Chamber. He's not in Perth, but it didn't stop him from having a take. He was talking about it on social media. If we have it, let's hit The Rock's Instagram. Oh, I know. Everybody wants to know what's happening down in Perth, Australia. It's going to be this weekend, right? Is that right? Is that, Yeah, The Rock knows when it's happening. You know why? Because they kept asking The Rock, Rock, will you go down to Perth? Well, could you come down to Perth, Australia? Listen, The Rock can't be there in Perth. The Rock wishes he could be there in Perth. He's going to be there in spirit, and that's all that matters. The People's Champ spirit is going to be in Perth. But here's who else is going to be in Perth. Grayson Waller, doing the Waller effect. It's that show, it's a big show. It's a big show here in the States, and it's an even bigger show down there in Australia. You know why? You know why, Dumbo? Because Australia is his country. It's his home country. The people are gonna go crazy for him, but here's what's happening. Here's the bullshit that's happening now down in Australia. Cody Rhodes and his little girlfriend, Seth Rollins, are gonna go on the Waller effect. Here's the thing. I need you and you and this goof holding the camera and this one holding the microphone over here. I need all of you guys to make sure that Perth knows some old happening. And if those guys, those guys meaning Cody and his little girlfriend Seth, if they start talking trash, let The Rock know. Tell The Rock because here's what's going to happen. The Rock is going to slap the piss out of both of them just like that. As a matter of fact, if they talk trash, The Rock will fly down there to Perth before that interview is over and he'll do it. Don't wonder why The Rock can make it that quick. The Rock makes magic happen. Do you understand? All right, that's all The Rock has to say about Perth. Perth, Austra Perth Australia, get ready because the WWE is coming. Let The Rock know if those two jabronis talk trash. Hit you some mail! What The Rock is cooking. The Rock yeah. makes magic yes. happen, and that magic will be coming to the blue brand because The Rock returns to Friday Night SmackDown next week, and I'm sure he's going to have lots to talk about, especially after the biggest Grayson Waller effect of all time happening today at the Elimination Chamber, Perth, and Sam. This We've seen a lot of big Grayson Waller effects, but this, without question, the biggest. It is huge Grayson Waller effects. We've seen John Cena on the Grayson Waller effect. We've seen them take place all over the world. But right now, whenever Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins are together, the world starts talking about it. So what happens when you take that energy and you put it into the Grayson Waller effect in Grayson's home country? Yeah, you alluded to it earlier, Sam, and it's so true. It is going to be weird to hearing people, I imagine, cheering Grayson Waller. They were they, at the press at conference. The, at the press event, they did. I have to say, I... 
I'm debating, is it possible? The Rock has pulled off a lot of things, okay? Can he make it to Perth today, Sam? No, he said he wasn't going to go. But he said he, if they talk trash, he will slap the you-know-what out of people's faces. He did say that, but listen, this is a different Rock. He is sending messages. The Rock is in the bloodline. The $500 shirts are back. Oh. There is no way that they take that risk oh, at the Elimination I saw that shirt. You know how big I popped when I saw that shirt? Of course you did. Those arms oh, ripping out of it. We can't forget what Seth freaking Rollins promised Cody Rhodes. I'm sure that will be addressed today on the Grayson Waller effect. But down under, Bobby Lashley, oh, the eight-time world champion, set for his third Elimination oh. Chamber match of his career. He won't find a man with a bigger chip on his shoulder. <laughs> Might be his first Elimination Chamber, but he's got something to prove. Stick around, the megastar joins us later on in the show, but we take you to Optus Stadium next, where the tag team titles are on the line. The Kabuki Warriors are taking on Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell, and it's next. DraftKings, giving a bonus bet back if I lose so I don't have to sweat my bet? NBA Hall of Famer Patrick Ewing. Now, you know all about sweating. Break it down for us. A no-sweat bet. It's kind of like an offensive rebound. You miss your first shot, you get another chance to score. You're supposed to shower after the game, Patrick. New customers, deposit five bucks and get a bonus bet back in the amount of your first bet if it doesn't hit, up to $1,000. The crown is yours. Hello, everybody, from the most remote big city on the entire planet. This is Perth in Western Australia and the beautiful Optus Stadium site of Elimination Chamber. It's just after 5.30 p.m. Saturday night. I'm Michael Cole, the voice of Monday Night Raw. He's Corey Graves, the voice of Friday Night SmackDown. And I want to say happy 40th birthday <laughs> to my friend Corey Graves. I wasn't ready for that. I was going to thank the WWE Universe for waking up early with us today or staying up late if you're on the west coast of the U.S. Either way, you will not be Impressive. disappointed. This is going to be awesome. The following contest scheduled for one fall is for the WWE Women Tag Team Championship! It's the team of Candice LeRae and Australia's own Indy Hartwell! An emotional night, Corey, for Indy Hartwell here. She was born and raised in Melbourne. She trained at the PCW Academy of there. She was part of Riot City Wrestling and World Series Wrestling here in Australia. Big moment as she teams with Ken to try to win the tag team goal. I, I think the WWE Universe is about to learn a lot about what Indy Hartwell is truly made of. She's got a very capable tag team partner in Candice LeRae. Both women are world travel veterans. This is going to be interesting. The champs are going to get taken for a ride tonight. Yeah, Hartwell and LeRae were former NXT women's tag team champions. Hoping to win the WWE Tag Team Gold here tonight. We're going to move it here to Australia, Cole. It seems like everybody who lives on this entire continent gets a hometown welcome. Wish the States were like that. And their opponents, they are the WWE Women's And Kyrie Singh, the Kabuki Warrior! They won the tag team titles last month, knocking off Carter and Chance, but you got some issues over there on Friday Night SmackDown, Corey. Damage control is in shambles. Well, it seems as though the woman who created damage control, Bailey, the winner of the 2024 Women's Royal Rumble match, was unceremoniously ousted from her own creation. Certainly an interesting set of circumstances on Friday Night SmackDown, but what cannot be denied is the dominance of the Kabuki Warriors as women's tag team champions. They've been pushed to the limit, they've been tested, and they have been pressed each and every night. Back to Bailey for a moment, of course, winning the Royal Rumble this year. She decided to choose Damage Control's Io Sky to face for the WWE Women's Championship at WrestleMania. And the other question is, where does 
Dakota Kai fit into all this? It appears as though Dakota suffered an attack at the hands of the rest of Damage Control this week on SmackDown. Curious to see how that develops. But right now, it is all about tag team action. Kyrie Sane and Asuka defending their goals. And if you're the Kabuki Warriors, Corey, you really have to weather that early emotional storm from Indy Hartwell. So excited to be performing in front of her homeland here tonight. But that can be a curse and a blessing. Yes, it can drive a superstar to new heights. However, it's a great deal of pressure. If they're not behind you, they're on top of your shoulders. And a lesser superstar may crumble under the circumstances. If I'm the Kabuki Warriors right now, I'm trying to separate and destroy. Try to focus the attack on the smaller Candice LeRae because Indy Hartwell is a powerhouse. An incredible atmosphere here in Perth, Western Australia. This Optus Stadium, an incredible six-year-old facility. Corey and I had the pleasure of taking part in the press conference uh, just behind the stadium yesterday. Just an incredible event that was. The atmosphere in the entire city of Perth all week long has been tangible. The excitement for WWE for the Elimination Chamber. It is, uh, as the great Gorilla, Gorilla Monsoon would say, it's a happening. So Indy Hartwell with the Indy chance starting off here against Kyrie Sane of the Kabuki Warriors. If you're Hartwell and LeRae, what do you need to do to knock the Warriors off and win the gold? This is a great start for Hartwell and Loray. If I'm Indy Hartwell, I'm not basking in the adulation of my home nation. I'm trying to bring the fight to Kyrie Sane and keep Kyrie as far away from Asuka as possible. Indy, a former NXT Women's Champion, also the NXT Tag Champ, as I mentioned before. Kyrie Sane, who kicked off her WWE career by winning the May Young Classic back in 2017 is a two-time tag team champion. Both those reigns, of course, with Asuka and a former NXT champ as well. Look at the power of Indy Hartwell. This is impressive. Able to shrug off Sane for the moment. One of the adjectives you always hear when talking about Indy Hartwell. Oh, Perseverance, oh. big boot by Indy. Kick Kyrie right in the soul. Tag made to Candice LeRae, the poison pixie. Double team coming now from Murray and Hartwell. And Kyrie saying, and in trouble, here's the cover for the tag team. Gold and a kick out at two. Take another look at the athleticism of Indy Hartwell and the big boot. And look at this impressive double team, pun intended. I believe they called that the Koala Challenge on Instagram at one point. How apropos, Michael Cole. And there's the uh, boots to the face of Larray, and here comes the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. And a four-time world champion having her way with Candice LeRae, but Candice not going to back down. And I have to say it, watching Asuka following her for most of her career here in WWE, since realigning with Kyrie Sane, it's unleashed something sinister inside the Empress of Tomorrow. But right now, Candice bringing the fight. The Elimination Chamber event, you see the Clock winding down, closing in on 18 minutes to go. Lorraine, cover again on Asuka to try to win the gold and a kick out. Step up sent on, extremely effective, wise move by Lorraine, applying a front face lock, trying to keep control of Asuka, but just that quickly, the Empress can turn the tide. Asuka, one of the most dangerous competitors in the history of WWE. Ooh. Elbow right to the bridge of Asuka's nose. Again connects. And now Kyrie Sane takes advantage as the official was dealing with Asuka and she knocks LeRae to the floor. Got lucky with the weather here today, Corey. It was in the hundreds for most of the week. And yeah, no doubt about it. It was a hot one at the press event yesterday. It's still warm in here, but the atmosphere just speaks for itself. Made Kyrie Sane now legal for the Kabuki Warriors. Yeah, great job by the Warriors isolating Larray and not allowing the more powerful Indy Hartwell to get back into this matchup. Here it comes Kyrie Nobody with home. Looking for the sliding D. Larray out of the way just in time. Quick tag to Oscar, who's going to try to prevent Larray from making a tag. So too close for comfort for the champions. Oscar looking for an ankle lock. Finger tips away. Not quite there. Close to make a tag. Can she? Not quite. And a German suplex by Asuka. 
Hot. Sliding knee rocks Candace. Tag, here's Sane. Now the double team from the tag team champions, the Kabuki Warriors. Kyrie, top rope. Forearm connects, hooks the leg for the championship and a kick out at two. And again, Corey, the tag champs just doing a, a wonderful job of keeping LeRae away from her partner as they take another look at Sane flying through the air. And we mentioned it so frequently, but the importance can't be overstated of it. Cutting the ring in half and isolating your opponent from their tag team partner. It's tag team wrestling 101, but it's a tried and true strategy. And again, fingertips away. Hartwell is almost there. And Kyrie with a well placed knee to the midsection. Quick tags by the Kabuki Warriors. Another. Oh, oh God. Nasty landing for Indy on the outside. Now LeRae without a partner. Oscar. Insane. Hold on by Asuka. Kyrie with a basement drop kick. Cover now to retain and a kick out. Bit of a lackadaisical cover by the Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka feeling a little too confident, not pinning her full body weight down across the shoulders of LeRae. Over 50,000 WWE fans expected oh. here tonight for Elimination Chamber. Something you need to know about LeRae is there's absolutely no shortage of heart in this woman. Almost there for the tag. No, and Oscar does a great job intercepting LeRae again. Oh, now LeRae's got a chance, Corey. Tag. Here's Indy Hartwell. Australia's own teeing off on the tag team champions. Hartwell taking out. Oscar taking out Sane. Meeting the Moses. And Indy fired up with an opportunity to win the tag team titles in her homeland. Spinebuster. Double stacked. For the win. And the tag team titles. And a kick out by Asuka. Just barely. Hartwell realized that may have been our opportunity. This is smart by Indy. You got to keep your foot on the gas pedal. You've got the champions in jeopardy. Hartwell with a boot right to the face of Asuka. Again, champion's advantage. You got to pin or submit the champs to win the gold. Yeah. Indy possibly getting caught up in the magnitude of the moment. Didn't connect as cleanly as I'm sure she would have liked. Hartwell making the tag of LeRae. And now an opportunity for the challengers for the tag team titles. LeRae still hurting from the assault by the Warriors earlier on. Base first goes Asuka. Springboard moonsault covered by LeRae to win the tag team gold. And breaking things up is Kyrie Sane. You cannot stress the importance enough of having a tag team partner on whom you can rely in all situations. If your shoulders are down, you need to believe your partner will be there for you, as we just saw from the champion. Tag again, Hartwell's legal as LeRae takes out Kyrie Sane. And Asuka now goes to work, put it on a clinic with Indy Hartwell. German suplex. The powerhouse Hartwell, no match in this moment for the striking ability of Oscar. Up front of Still one here. Kick out at two. Uncorked a heavy right that rocked Oscar, but Hartwell unable to capitalize immediately. Makes her tag to LeRae. Challengers doing a great job tagging in and out of the ring. Think we're going to need to see some more urgency from the challengers. Off the top rope, and Kyrie's. Sane gets involved and LeRae crashes and burns. Like I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Indian Candace took a little bit too long looking for fancy offense. It could have been very effective, but we never got to find out for sure. This could be the end. Tag to Sane. Kyrie's going to go up top. Calling for the insane elbow. Kyrie Sane delivers. There it is. The K Kabuki Warriors retain the tag team titles. Here are your and still the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, the Kabuki Warriors. Corey LeRae and Hartwell were game tonight. No doubt about it. The challengers came for a fight and delivered one as well but the Kabuki Warriors just too strong.
at Elimination Chamber. Perhaps it was desperation, perhaps it was uncertainty, but this is where it all began, began crumbling down for the challengers. The insane elbow of Kyrie Sane from the top right to the heart of the Poison Pixie and still. Indy Hartwell put on a great performance here tonight in her home country of Australia. But in the end, the Kabuki Warriors pick up the victory and retain the tag team titles. Nice ovation for Indy and Candice here tonight. Corey and I will be back at the top of the hour with the start of Elimination Chamber. Roman Reigns, your undisputed WWE Universal Heavyweight Champion, stands at the apex of sports entertainment. On behalf of our reigning, defending, undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns, I have the honor and the pleasure of presenting to you the Tribal Chief's Rules of Acknowledgement. You shall accept there is no competitor worthy of Roman Reigns. I'm in God mode. This is greatness on a different level. One must understand that Roman Reigns is a tribal chief of his word. I call my shot and I deliver every single time. Know in your heart that Roman Reigns will take what he wants, when he wants, and how he wants. This whole industry, this whole business, runs off of me. This is my show. Mine. This is my camera. Expect those who dare challenge Roman Reigns to suffer the dire consequences. And most importantly, Thou shalt not acknowledge any other tribal chief but the head of the table. New level, new level, go. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Roman's title reign has surpassed legends, icons, Hall of Fame. Roman Reigns, the longest reigning Universal Champion ever! The top of the mountain is mine! Feed them in and watch them all get slaughtered because this is my island! Now, if you didn't like that, you're gonna love this. The Rock is a member of the bloodline. Look at this incredible family tree. The Rock and Roman Reigns bound by blood. If your grandfather was here, his grandfather was here, they'd be ashamed of you. Hesitate, your moment's gonna move on. That's what's happened to Cody Rhodes. Your story is just ending. The Rock and Roman Reigns, our story is just beginning. Acknowledge me! Six men will be locked inside the structure made of 10 tons and two miles of chains. Only one will triumph and go on to face the world heavyweight champion Seth freaking Rollins at WrestleMania. In the men's elimination chamber match, the stage is set for a brutal showdown. Six superstars will clash for the right to face Seth freaking Rollins for the world heavyweight championship at WrestleMania.
Of course, they all want to win, but there's only one superstar that needs to win. The savior of WrestleMania, Drew McIntyre. The flames get bigger while the muscles shiver. Your future world champion. This is the Kevin Owens Show! At Elimination Chamber, I will find anyone and everyone I will destroy everybody else and reign supreme. And then WrestleMania will be all mine. I am the Maverick, the greatest United States champ in history. I'm gonna win the Elimination Chamber. I will rematch Seth Rollins and become the world heavyweight champion. Logan Paul, double champ. Let me talk to you. You got five other guys walking into Elimination Chamber, all gonna get dropped, dropped. Each one of them get dropped on the head because that's the only way it can go down. And that's not an insult. That is just a fact of life. Yeah. I will be in the ring with five victims of the three most destructive matters in sports entertainment. RKO. In Perth, Australia, the WrestleMania landscape will take shape. Who will stand tall at Elimination Chamber? Right now, I'm standing by with L.A. Knight in L.A. Normally, we all know you're a pretty confident guy, but where are your emotions at? as you prepare to step inside the Elimination Chamber for the first time in your career. My emotions right now are that I'm sick of hearing you talk. That was a big, long talk up, and I only got a limited time, so let me talk to you. Here's the deal. It's Elimination Chamber. You got six guys in, everybody vying for the spot, the number one contendership for the World Heavyweight Championship, right? And everybody says, well, you've never been in the Elimination Chamber before. How do you prepare? Huh? How do they prepare? Because nobody can scout me. I've watched each and every single one of them, and I know exactly what to do when I walk in that thing. So here's how it goes down. I walk out, number one contender, World Heavyweight Championship, and on to WrestleMania I go because there can be no other way, and that's not an insult. That is just a fact of life. Whose game is it? You already know. Yeah. Thank you, L.A. Back to you guys on the panel. Thank you so much, Byron. Glad to have you back here with us on the kickoff show. Megan Morant, Sam Roberts, Peter Rosenberg. We just heard from the megastar, L.A. Knight, and he is certainly confident ahead of one of the biggest matches of his life. But we know he doesn't have nearly as much experience as the rest of the field. Peter, do you think that matters? I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to what our broadcast colleague, the Hall of Famer, Booker T, always says. Sometimes experience is a bad thing. What? Every once, no, don't it's, it's talk about Booker T. Okay, I just you've heard weird. him say this before. He'll say sometimes you know a little too much about the elimination chamber. You're thinking a little bit too much. Maybe a little bit of ignorance about the pain of that structure is good for LA Knight because you could sense Sam by the confidence that he has. He's not thinking about anything except getting to WrestleMania. Unfortunately, that reality check is waiting for him. He's gonna feel it. He's going to think about it, and a lot of these superstars are prepared for that. There are two superstars that I'm really looking at here. One of them, the key is elimination. It's an elimination chamber. Once KO and his KO Allah, which I know you keep bringing up, Peter Rosenberg, I, but regardless I, of the bear, I, I regardless of the bear, if KO is able to eliminate Logan Paul early in this thing, the world is his oyster. He's ready to go to town. The other superstar I'm looking at, Randy Orton, how do you not look at the guy in this match that's been in more chambers than anyone? And the way he was talking at the press conference, the way he's been talking leading up to this thing. No, he, and he looks great. It's a reminder. And, no, and, and he looks like a different version of Randy than yes. we've seen in a very long time. My question is, could KO now be managed by this koala bear? Mm. And will we, Why are you talking at about WWE the World, will we be selling KO Wallas? Like all the kids, you can see it right now. Well, you guys, obviously, WrestleMania is starting to take shape with this Elimination Chamber match, but no one has had a bigger week than Drew McIntyre taking on Cody Rhodes on Monday Night Raw, and then he was in action last night taking on LA Knight on the Blue Brand. And you know what he's been doing? He's been doing things the right way. Drew McIntyre is the one guy on the WWE roster that 100% of the time 
makes sense. He's making logical moves that have brought him to the place that he's in now. And if he continues to do that, well, yeah. it's going to be a great night. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go out on a limb right now. Tonight, Drew McIntyre punches his ticket and goes to WrestleMania. This elimination chamber belongs to the Scottish Warrior. As much as I loved the way you said punches, I, I did like that a lot. Thank you. When has logic ever served you well in the Elimination Chamber? This isn't a test, Sam. This isn't the SATs. It's the Elimination this Chamber. Is... And I'll tell you right now, and Perth, I'm sorry. Uh-oh. They may not love it. Uh-oh. Logan Paul is walking oh out of that God. chamber. And it's a rematch at WrestleMania against Seth Rollins. You play checkers. Others play chess. Okay? Will we have Logan a double Paul. champion yep. walking out of WrestleMania? But first, we have to get to the elimination chamber. Over 50,000 fans will be in Perth, Australia, ready to see who emerges. The Optus Stadium waiting for the most important stop on the road to WrestleMania. You're looking at traditional Western Australia a dance from the stadium. Noongar, welcome to the country, mid our dancers. May the good spirit be with each and every one of us and keep us safe tonight. The Elimination Chamber Perth starts right now. Punch them tickets. Punch. Let's go. Road to WrestleMania. <laughs> yes. Champion, the irresistible force has been nearly unstoppable. 